These bacteria are going to play an important role in the next generation of plastics production. They're able to create polymers out of organic waste and no petroleum is needed. At the Biological Research Center in Madrid, Auxiliadoro Prito and her colleagues are growing the bacteria that are key to the whole process. Their research is part of the pan-European research project SINPOL, which is named after a specific gas mixture that triggers the production of bioplastics inside these microorganisms. Depending on the compounds of the syngas, which can contain more or less oxygen, we can use one or another bacteria. These bacteria accumulate bioplastic in the form of granulate inside them, which we can later extract using different chemical methods. This way, we can obtain a huge variety of different substances. The characteristics of these materials depend on both the bacteria and the compounds of the syngas, like here, where we have a bioplastic, which we obtain through this process. The scientists are not only interested in laboratory research, but they're also investigating how this process could be transformed into a large-scale production plant. As a first step, experimental reactors have been set up in Switzerland and here in Valencia, Spain. But it's not just waste that can now be turned into bioplastic molecules. Within the European research project Splash, Lolke Seitzmer and his colleagues of food and bio-based research in Wageningen at the Netherlands are investigating whether algae could be used as a resource for bioplastic production. The scientists have discovered that some forms of algae produce large amounts of sugars and hydrocarbons that could be turned into bioplastics. Algae, they are highly productive. They use sunlight and carbon dioxide and some minerals very efficiently. And on the other hand, algae can also be grown in places where you cannot grow uh, crops for food, for instance. So they do not compete with the food production. A secret formula developed by the Dutch company Avantium transforms the algae sugar into polymer molecules. This is the raw material to manufacture drinking bottles and, according to its producer, with a much better environmental audit than traditional plastic bottles. This kind of material emits 70% less carbon dioxide and also uses uh, much less uh, non-renewable energy sources. So it is much more sustainable than the traditional plastics, but also the properties are much better. For the scientists, there are still challenges ahead. On the one hand, they need to make sure that feedstock, conversion processes, as well as end-of-life solutions for their bioplastics are sustainable. At the same time, they still need to make the bioplastic production more cost-effective so that it can reach an industrial scale.